To get started, dismantle the drone as much as possible. The device must be powered off and clean. Next, make sure to wear nitrile gloves when handling and dipping electrical components into solution. Then you will pour V2 solution into the clean tray. Dip the PCBs into the solution one at a time. Wait five seconds or until no more air bubbles come from the PCB. Remove the coated board from the solution. Let it drain from the most sensitive component at a 45 degree angle for five seconds. Repeat this process for all PCB boards. All electrical components and connectors that are still on the frame of the drone still need to be coated as well. Next, with a dropper take B2 solution and coat all electrical components and connectors. With the included funnel and filter, pour V2 solution back into the bottle. Then you will dry the PCB with a heat gun at 176 Fahrenheit. After all the PCB boards are dried, reattach all parts to the drone and attach all wiring back to its original state. Finally, apply V4 with the included dropper to all wiring connections and PCB connections. Once again, you will dry the PCB with a heat gun at 176 Fahrenheit. Once fully dried, check for the water beading effect to ensure the coating is in place. If no water beading is shown, use a pipette and add a few more drops of solution for additional protection.
Finally, finish attaching all parts back to its original state. Your drone is now fully protected. If a drone becomes submerged in water, rinse it off with distilled water or 91% alcohol and above, and then re-coat the drone using a pipette. 